Good morning, uh, beloved. Um, such a pleasure to be connected with you this wonderful morning. Um, I believe it's Sunday, if I'm not mistaken, today. Um, good morning. Um, be sure to check our live stream, 12.30 sharp. Today, I want to speak about a watchman. You know, I uh, just want to speak about the spirit of a watchman. You know, as we engage in much prayers, in much travails, and as we seek the face of God in prayer, you know, and want to enforce the will of God in much prayers, travails, and tribulations, sometimes the Lord will drop upon us the spirit of a watchman. He will drop on you the spirit of a watchman. And this happens once we, we go into deep intercessions, groanings, lamentations, weepings, just crying for the kingdom, just longing for the kingdom. My Bible tells me um, in the book of Luke that there was one Joseph of Arimathea. And Joseph of Arimathea was a wealthy man and one of the followers of Christ. And Joseph did something after Christ was taken. He went unto Pilate and he begged Pilate for the body of Jesus. He begged him. This speaks of how he, he craved for the body. How he longed for the body. He begged Pilate for the body. I believe in my heart that God is raising a generation of prophetic people, of watchmen, of people who will go before God, you know, before God and begin to crave, beg, long, cry and yearn for the body of Christ, to yearn for the church to arise to a fullness, to yearn for the church to awaken to a reality, to yearn, to long, and to cry unto God for the church, to beg for the body. Watchmen who will, who will seek God's face, who will long for God's face, who will long for the body of Christ to be awakened to her reality, to be awakened to who she really is. Is. I, I believe so much in my heart that God is raising up watchmen. God is raising up intercessors, prophetic snipers, those whose ears are married to the cloud and not to the crowd. Because in the book of Numbers, we see that there are two groups of people. We see, we see the, the crowd of people, you know, the mixed multitude who would murmur and murmur. No, so there, there is a crowd, but there are those who are listening to the cloud. Because God in the book of Numbers led them with a pillar of fire by night and a pillar of cloud by day. So by cloud, I'm speaking of the presence. I'm speaking of God. And with the crowd, we're speaking with public opinion. So we're not like politicians. We don't move and we do not operate on the on the power of public opinion. But we, we, are, we, we are cleaved unto him. Our ears are married to the cloud and we want to hear him and him alone. We are, we, are, we are longing and we are yearning for the body to awaken to a reality. So, Ezekiel chapter 3 verse 17. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the word at my mouth and give them warning from me. So, a watchman is a person who who, who would be on the tower and who would watch for certain things. He would watch for certain dangers and he would announce whatever is happening to the community of faith. So we need watchmen in communities of faith who will stand, who will stand guard and who will stand watch, who are true prophetic people, who are intercessors, who can perceive in the spirit. My Bible says, we know not what we should pray for as we ought. You know, that is Romans 8. We know not what we should pray for as we ought. So there are things we should be praying for. And there is a way we ought to be praying for those things. You know, and watchmen, watchmen can tap into the things we ought to pray for. And watchmen, they have this grace to start 
praying for them as they ought to be prayed because God has put his burden upon them. He has put a, a deep prophetic weight upon them. So watchmen are able to perceive spiritual activities, whether divine or diabolical. So watchmen perceive spiritual activities. Watchmen perceive what is happening in the spirit. They can see divine things. They can see what God is doing. They can also see diabolical things. They can see what is happening in the kingdom of darkness. And now a watchman will, will prevail in prayer if he, can, if he sees that this is God at work. He will begin to pray out the will of God. He will pray, thy kingdom come, thy will be done. This is how a watchman will pray. Once he perceives that this is God at work, this is God at action, a watchman will pray out for the kingdom of God, for the kingdom of God to come, for his will to be done. And if it is the enemy, the watchman will begin to deny all demonic activity. He'll begin to refuse and deny and oppose and refute in the spirit what the enemy is doing. The Bible says, resist the devil and he will flee. So watchmen see also what the devil is doing and they resist him. They resist him. They are taking up jurisdiction and they are denying the devil entrance and activity they are denying demonic activities from happening from happening so the bible says the gates of hell shall not prevail upon this rock i will build my church and the gates of hell will not prevail so watchmen have that grace in fact it is upon us as a church collective but those who who take who, who who take ownership of this, who manifest it, who dare to believe it, are the watchmen, you know. And listen to what the Bible says concerning this. Ezekiel chapter three, verse twenty-six. And I will make thy tongue cleave to the roof of thy mouth, that thou shalt be dumb, and shall not be to them a reprover for they are a rebellious people but when i speak with thee verse 27 i will open thy mouth and thou shalt say unto them thus saith the lord he that heareth let him hear and he that forbeareth let him forbear for they are a rebellious house in this we see something about watchmen and about all authentic prophetic people True prophets are silent when God is silent. When God does not speak, true prophets also withhold from speaking. They withhold from prophesying. They don't just prophesy anytime. When God is withholding his voice, true prophets, because they are intimate with him, they will also withhold. True watchmen, they also withhold. A watchman knows when God wants to speak and when God wants to be silent you see true prophetic people also understand the mystery of god's silent a prophetic person doesn't just prophesy he also understands god's silence he understands god's silence on a matter you don't, you don't just prophesy as a prophetic person you are intimate with god you don't just prophesy so true prophetic people also understand God's silence when God is not speaking. When God is silent, they are also silent. A, a true prophetic person, let me read this verse for you. Jewel 1 verse 4. That which the palm of has left has the locust eaten. That which the locust hath left, hath the canker worm eaten. And that which the canker worm hath left, hath the caterpillar eaten. In this we see an awesome truth. You know that in Jewel's day, there was a swarm of locusts. There was a plague of locusts. And this plague ravaged the land. And this locust ate everything and there was a plague there was nothing to eat so a plague differs from a famine 
you know, a plague differs from a famine, it also differs from a drought. A drought happens when the heavens withhold their dew. A famine happens when hunger strikes. And a plague happens when natural forces take from us. Almost like a pandemic. It's a plague. Now, true prophetic people, they are mature enough. They are not novices. A real watchman is not a novice. A real watchman can discern between rain and a swarm of locusts. Because when locusts are coming, they are like rain. When a swarm of locusts is coming from a distance, they, they look like rain and they also sound like rain from a distance. So when a novice is looking from the watchtower, looking from the stronghold, looking abroad and ready to warn the people, he can mistaken a plague, a swarm of locusts for rain. How many, how many prophesied rain when a plague is coming? There are many false prophets who prophesied about 2020. They prophesied rain when a plague was coming. This has been a horrible year. True prophetic people whom God really spoke to concerning could tell and others could not and they spoke lies one of them said it would be a great year it would be a great year calling himself major one and there was nothing great collectively so a real watchman can discern whether what activities that are perceiving the spirit are divine or diabolical? A true watchman can really discern. Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 1. I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower and will watch to see what he will say unto me and what I shall answer when I am reproved. A true watchman stands upon the watch. He watches and perceives activities in the spirit. And a watchman is able to wait on God. To wait upon God's promises. May the spirit of a watchman arise in the body today. May watchmen arise. May watchmen prophesy. May watchmen tell us, what do you see? Tell us, watchmen, what do you see? Isaiah Isaiah 21 verse 6 For thus hath the Lord said unto me Go set the watchman and let him declare what he seeth Some scholars think that this watchman is Habakkuk because Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 1 says I will stand upon my watch and wait to hear what he shall say unto me when he reproves me So some think that the watchman in Isaiah 21 verse 6 is actually Habakkuk the school of thought. And as you go down with Isaiah 21, verse 11 and 12, the burden of Duma, he calleth me out of Seir. Watchman, what of the night? Watchman, what of the night? The watchman said, the morning cometh and also the night. If you will inquire, inquire, return, come. So, true watchmen can discern so watchmen, what of the night? Watchmen, what of the night? We need watchmen who will tell us what's in store. Who will tell us what the future holds. Who will tell us what is happening in the spirit right now. We need real watchmen to watch. Watchmen, what do you see? What do you see, oh watchmen? So watchmen can see seasons come and go. So what about the night? What about the night? Watchmen, what about this pandemic? Watchmen, what about COVID-19? Watchmen, what about all these restrictions? What men, watchmen, what do you see? Watchmen, what do you see? So um, a watchman can see both darkness and night. In Isaiah 21 verse 12, it is both night. Let me, let, let me read. Verse 12, the watchman said, the morning cometh and also the night. 
a true watchman can discern between night and day. A true watchman does not only see darkness, he also sees light. A true watchman does not only see light, he also sees darkness. Watchman, what do you see? Watchman, what do you see? Do you see what God is doing? Are you standing upon your watch? Waiting to hear what it is God will say unto us. A watchman arise. Watchman arise. A company of prophets arise. Prophetic people arise. Prophetic intercessors arise. Prophetic hubs be established. Prophetic walls open up. Prophetic rivers begin flowing. Prophetic people begin prophesying. Receive the burden of the Lord. Watchmen, what do you see? Watchmen, what do you see? In the name of Jesus. Hear ye the word of the Lord. Listen to this again. Go through it again. I believe God is raising a generation, a company of watchmen. Perhaps you are watching this video and God has also ordained you to be among the company of watchmen. Arise. What do you see? Arise. What is the word of the Lord? What of the night? What of the day? Watchmen, what do you see? Thank you so much for tuning in. Please leave me a comment. Subscribe to the channel. Give this video a thumbs up. Share it with somebody. Hit the bell icon. You know, do the things which will also help this channel to grow. We really appreciate you so much. And those of you who want to support this ministry, there are links in the description. There are links in the description. Just hit on those links. Those of you who are watching on other platforms where there's no link, just go to cyrilpeterson.co.za and click on partner and the, there's, there's a variety of giving options. Thank you so much for all the support. Love you. Cheers.